What are we looking at this game? Twitch. What the fuzz? Alright, we got a Twitch stream. Let's do this. What's up, guys? Mr. Gims, back again. And I want to speak about this incident. When I faced Morph while he was live streaming and I was live streaming. Now, a couple of things before I get into this, but... A, I didn't know that he was a big streamer. Um, I came across one of his videos in a recommended uh, about the time where Blight came out. And he sort of did a breakdown of his abilities and things like that. And, uh, you know, I just like to see other streamers and other content creators of DVD and how they fare with things because it's, you know, good to learn. Um, B, I didn't know he was as toxic as some people have said. Um, some people in my community have had a bad experience with him. I'm not going to name names, but... People have said he's a little bit of a, a little bit of a douche. I think I think that's the nicest way of uh, saying it. Um, and C, he's actually a fog whisperer, which I was not aware of. And I think that last part um, frustrates me. Now uh, I, I recorded it obviously when I was streaming, but I went over his uh, sort of uh, version of events later on because I wanted to see from his viewpoint what the game looked like. And I'd like to make some comparisons together and sort of make you, the viewer, come to your own conclusions. Now, this isn't a butthurt video. This is not me calling him out. Don't go onto his channel and give him shit. That's not what I'm trying to do here. Um, I personally don't like this guy. That's my opinion. I've drawn it from my own conclusions. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go on his, you know, his channel and start abusing him and all that sort of shit. However, if this is a fog whisperer, which it is. I am absolutely disgusted with the Fog Whisper program. Now, there could have been a multitude of factors into his attitude during this match. It could have been he's having a bad day, um, you know, stressed out emotionally, physically. God knows, I don't know. I mean, the world's weird right now. Anything could be going on with him. But there's this general macho toxicity machismo that I'm sort of feeling uh, just some of the things he says and does, it's just a very odd combination and it doesn't make sense to me. And uh, I can't believe he's a fog whisperer. The fact that he's a fog whisperer makes me really reconsider how the devs see the fog whisperer program. Is it not because we've done hard work or is it because he's a popular streamer? That's the question here, and it kind of makes me sick, if I'm honest with you. But anyway, guys, we're going to do this viewpoint video and you guys can... Um, you guys can draw your own conclusions. Here we go. Yo, Stormtrooper, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? Welcome. Wow, that was a bit of lag. It's got 1,200 viewers. Is he actually a Twitch streamer? They're good. <laughs> dead hard? I don't know if he had it. Dead hard and don't have dead hard. What a fucking idiot. Hello, how you doing? I feel like when people stick up the anime stuff, it's because they just hate their own appearance and, you know, the full of anxiety and stuff, which I get. But trying to sell it as, as their... I don't know. Not for me. Grow a pair of balls. Um, but Castlehead is great. I don't know what his channel name is exactly, but if you can find it, you're free to link it in chat, or if somebody else knows it, someone did say his name. I think you'll find him very entertaining. He 
he's back. I didn't mean to go for him again. I stopped anyway. Oh, found the new totem brie. Nice dead hard. These guys are good. Huntress's Lullaby is still in it. I've only got more. Never mind. I've got no perks now. This is going to be a very hard game. So what the fuzz has 1,200 viewers? Is that what you're saying? Hikaru? Yeah, go give that guy a follow. I'm Castlehead. Oh, I can't save you because I don't have um, borrowed time and I'd just be farming you. Second time, I thought he was gonna um, jump straight back to me. Do I make this? Ah! I do make it. And he vaulted the window, Pog. <laughs> oh, this is like a dead section. Oh no, there is wood. I see wood. What? Where's he gone? He's in the dumpster truck. Not a joke about him being trash. Bolting that window. Oh no! Going down. I should have bolted the window. Should have bolted the window. Uh. Yes, Ming, let's go. Sabo, another one. You don't make it to that, mate. Oh, there's another one there. No, no. Disappointed no one did a single generator in that 35 minute chase. Very disappointed that nobody did anything at all. Some guys in a locker somewhere too. Oh no, they're both on a gem. And they still haven't done a gem. Okay, GG's. First of all, I can completely understand where he's coming from here. He's playing solo, uh, he's running empathy, and he's right. Empathy really does draw out exactly how hard the game is when you're playing solo. Some people just don't do any work. That's a thing. However, as you can see, he is actually quite chilled when he's winning. When he's losing, he becomes this... Now, I don't know how old this guy is. I don't think he's that old. I don't think he has a clue. But when he is losing or in a chase, he goes to the classic, you know, survivor main trope, which is... Um, you know, the game's against me, everything's against me, my mistake was, was you know, null and void. He pulled himself up on the dead hard earlier, saying that he dead he doesn't have dead hard, and that's all well and good, but all of a sudden I'm a trash killer because um, I miss one, you know, one hit or whatever, but I clearly outsmarted him twice. He proceeds to call me trash and sort of, sort of make it a low-key joke, but it only gets worse from here, guys, so let's continue. Fuck, I screwed up. I don't know where he went. <laughs> Got a fucking dead heart as well. This is rough, they're good. Two gens, now we done.
Kindred. I'm very against it from now on. Kindred is now... Oh, and he's coming back to the hook because he's a professional gamer. What a loser. I now despise... Kindred with a passion. Look at this killer! Look at him! Literal trash can. Actual trash can. Well done, sir. You face camped in long enough for him to die. Now, I don't know what this trash can shit's all about that he keeps going on about. Um, It's, it's yeah, I don't know. He, he's some sort of uh, self-sanctified, glorious man-child for some reason. The way he behaves, it's kind of irritating. But as you can see, if you go back from this point to the last point, um, you'll see that I was moving around that tract a bit um, near the hook. Now, obviously, I wanted to confirm a kill. It's pretty clear that I was a little bit... Um, surveilling the area, but I kept seeing scratch marks behind the tractor, so I kept moving from the left to the right, to the left to the right. If you go back, you can clearly see it yourself. You guys can watch me on stream. It's how I behave normally. Camping and tunneling isn't a bannable offense, and sometimes you have to do it. We just got knocked down to two gens. I knew that they loved each other, and they were going to keep doing the hook saves, so I kept the pressure on him. How have I got a hit? And had if I got him into chase, I would have gone for him. And as soon as I saw the tracks lead away, I followed. So him calling me a loser, a trash can and stuff like that, it's just, it's just like a man-child having a tanty, to be honest. He was just having a tanty. And this kind of behavior, I'm, I'm not too sure if behavior really cares about it or if they're okay with it. Obviously, they must be okay with it to a certain point. But obviously, toxicity is acceptable in Dead by Daylight. I mean, why don't you just make a chitto, a fog whisperer? Why not, right? Let's let a bloody, let's let a bloody predator into this fucking program, yeah? Moving on. That did not reach me, Obama. That did not reach me. Is it National Dumb Killers Day? I guess so. Brawlers, thank you for 14 months. Welcome back in. This guy is micro penis out of his mind. Rockin'. Hi. Thank you for 34. Welcome back in. Hello, hello, hello. I hate shit kills like that. Mr. Gims. What a fucking loser. Yeah, so he claims the first hit doesn't hit, even though according to my screen it does. And that's that's a disparity in the FPS or whatever. I mean, dedicated and all that crap. The servers are a mess at the moment, so that's fair call if he thinks that. But then obviously you can see that he made two bad plays. He misread me twice with the bounce. First time, he misread me with Behind the Rock. Now, I know how to play Blight. I'm on an incredible winning streak with him overall, so I know how to use the Blight. Second of all, he misread me again at the window, which is a rookie move for somebody who claims they have over 7,000 hours. That's, that, was, that, that seemed really silly to me personally. But then we go back into his, I don't know, his, his man-child machismo mode where he starts going on about my penis in weird ways. Says I have a micro penis. Says I'm a loser. He even says my name, Mr. Gims. What a loser. Um, calls me a loser killer. Obviously, you, my friend, are a sore loser and a little bit of a man-child. And I am extremely, extremely disappointed with the behavior for picking him to represent this community and uh, to basically become, you know, sort of a flag bearer of the company. This is really kind of a uh, surreal moment for me. I look at the Dead by Daylight devs and how they treat the game. Numbers and money is obviously more important. And then I look at a picture of this idiot and I just go, yeah, it makes sense. It totally makes sense now.
cash grabs with toxicity, mix it together, and you have a bunch of morons. Um, I don't like this guy. That's my personal opinion. Happy to call him out. Couldn't get, care less. Pretty sure he won't either. Um, but hopefully this sort of brings to light to some people that I am a mature, uh, nice, kind streamer. And this guy is just a bit of a man-child having a tanty. And it's confirmed by all the points down below. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, this little verse thing I'm doing with him. Um, yeah, I, I bet he'll probably say go 1v1 me or something because he's, yeah, he's just, yeah, the maturity level's obviously not there. Anyway, guys, there you go. Uh, Mr. Games, first morph and also a breakdown and more of a deep dive, if you will, into how behavior makes somebody a fog whisperer. All right, guys, thanks so much. See you later.